Just like the Abacus, the Gorlovsky credit cards are primitive, but simple and reliable. Though they look nothing like their flashy, magnetic-encoded, universally recognized Western counterparts, the cards have become the primary currency for the 100-odd farm workers and their families living in the area, some 800 kilometers northeast of Moscow. When a villager buys bread or eggs from the store, then the shopkeeper subtracts that cost from the total credit sum and records the new amount on the card and in the store's data bank, in this case, a school exercise book. The cards are accepted at the farm stores spread out across several villages where they can be used to buy food and household items at competitive prices. There is one thing, however, that they can't buy, vodka, or any other alcohol for that matter. And that is a good thing, say Golovsky's women, as it stops the drunkards drinking all their money away. Golovsky, like all rural Russia, has been hard hit by 10 years of post-Soviet economic collapse. For most farms, the crisis has led to a severe shortage of cash, barter trading and salary delays of months. It has also led to alcoholism and drinking binges of epic proportions. And because Golovsky's farm pays its workers on the credit cards, the farm has rubles to buy fuel and equipment and to pay for local taxes. The farm management says the cards have literally kept them alive and working. They've never had a case of fraud or credit card theft, and nobody has ever hacked into their account database. But perhaps that is because everything is stored in paper and guarded by the office cat. But vodka is sold in Golovsky at the few private stores and only for cold hard cash. Even the male farm workers who admit being partial to vodka can see that the card system has its merits. Farm director Ivan Mantensev, who invented the credit card, says it was the measure that Golovsky Farm had to take in order to survive what he believes were ill-conceived federal reforms. And local officials give him much praise for keeping his area as a relative oasis of stability amid economic devastation. Mandensev says that the important thing for him is not how people are paid, but that they are paid. He even hopes that the Golovsky credit card's reputation will allow it to be accepted throughout the region and beyond.